I want to use my speed to my advantage. Just go, bit of skill. The biggest thing is that you're actually hitting the target. Don't worry about it going in the top corner, breaking the net. Just hit the net every single time and then you can focus on hitting those corners a little deeper. How many times in a game have you had a really good opportunity to shoot but for some reason you took another touch or maybe you took another touch when you should have just hit it and you knew you should have just hit it or you had a really good opportunity to shoot and for some reason you passed it to a teammate. Anytime that ball's coming to me, especially in the attacking third, I'm already thinking, how can I get my shot off as quickly as possible? Before that ball is coming to me, I'm already thinking, here's the space for my shot. And I'm trying to get that off quickly. Let's play. One touch to receive, one touch to turn, turn towards goal. Now I'm gonna try to shoot, it's way too long. This guy's gonna tackle you easily. I'm already thinking, boom, how can I? Find some space for myself before that ball comes to me. Clean the pass to you, into space, getting your shot off. Good touch, quick feet. It is one timers. So as a striker, you need to become comfortable hitting the ball early. If I always need one touch, two touch to set myself before I can get a shot off, I'm gonna miss my opportunities. So let's demo a few different scenarios, ways you could take one-timers. Wanna hit and keep your eye on that until your foot actually makes contact with the ball. So number one is get yourself in the box more often. And you may be saying, oh, well, obviously, but if you really analyze your game and you're saying, hey, I'm not scoring many goals, well, how many times were you actually in the box and how many times did you actually have touches in the box? Okay, a lot of strikers will get in the habit of they'll start making runs out here or they're not getting the ball in good areas, so they start dropping back into the midfield and they're getting on the ball, they might even be making nice plays and nice passes, but they're not doing their job, and their job is to put the ball in the back of the net. Some people say like, oh yeah, Ronaldo, he only scores penalty shots and tap-ins. He only, he scored like 30 tap-ins last year. Well, how many tap-ins did you score last year? Okay, so don't criticize, analyze. Why is he scoring all these goals? He's getting in the right spot at the right time. And the best strikers in the world, that's what they do. They find space and they get themselves in the box, okay? So analyze, are you making runs out here rather than in here, trying to receive the ball in these types of areas, okay? The second tip I want you to think about is playing on the last defender. Instead of trying to receive the ball in here, I wanna start my movement here, so when the pass is played, I already have a head start on the defender. Because what happens, you receive it, and these guys close you down, and then you have to go backwards. Okay, you wanna get yourself on more breakaways, more one-on-one -on -one chances with the goalkeeper. So you need to start playing on the last defender. So as I said, instead of starting your run here, you know that your teammate's on the ball, where well, you wanna get yourself into this position. Now at this point, you're probably not sprinting, you're just jogging, maybe you're making eye contact, but you see that he's on the ball now, here's an opportunity, okay, now I'm starting my run. Well, as is, obviously you don't wanna go offside, so get in the habit of always looking across the line. If you're playing this way, you're gonna to have to shoulder check, or you're running this way, you're gonna to have to shoulder check. Hold your line, hold your line, hold your line, and then making eye contact, encouraging him to play the pass, and you're getting that pass here, you're getting played into space, you're receiving it in good areas so you can quickly get shots off, you get more goal scoring opportunities, you don't have to beat three guys in order to create a chance for yourself. The final tip I wanna give you is finding space in the box. So against good teams, they're not gonna give you space to score the goal, okay? You're gonna be tightly marked. So you have to think about, hey, how can I find space? Sometimes the space is making a quick run to the front post. Sometimes the space is drifting off to the back post. Let's say everyone gets sucked in. You have to find, okay, is there space here? No, the space isn't there, the space is over here. Sometimes the space is, let's say, this guy makes a run in the box, someone's on the back post, okay, everyone's marked. Sometimes the space is just staying still. You're already in the space, no one's marking you. You just have to receive the path. If the ball is coming in and we're both jogging to it, he's probably gonna win it, okay? I have to have a little more desire. I have to be willing to sprint a little quicker, to be a little more physical, to get in front of that guy, to work a little harder, to earn myself the goal. So instead of jogging, 
or instead of jogging out here and hoping the ball comes to you, okay, you want to be in the habit of getting around the defender, getting in front of the defender, being a little sharper with your movement, finding the space so you can score the goal. So the